Hi, welcome to Cat Dad Gaming. And yeah, today we're going to be playing Simulacra, or continuing with it. It's near the end, so I think it's going to be this video, maybe two to finish it. I don't know, we'll see. So anyway, with that, let's just get on the game. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh. Hello, can you hear me? God damn you, This Detective is Detective Marilla. Marilla from the police department, again. Pain One of your colleagues well. reported that someone is attempting an unauthorized access to your work computer to retrieve some sensitive information. This is a case of corporate espionage, and we have reason to believe that a man named Greg Summers is behind it. I'm informing you that your personal data has been compromised, and that Greg is now wanted for questioning. If you have any information on his whereabouts, please contact me on this number. Thank you, and good day. You are a pain in the ass, Detective Marillo. So, in the last video, I was just chilling, feeding the cat, and I was like, yeah, I'll keep recording. And then he rings in the middle of that. And now this time, I decided to skip the intro music because I got copyright ID claimed. And I was a bit scared, so I know it's, you know, you're allowed to use it. But I was like, I'll just avoid that. So you bloody ring me while I'm trying to do the introduction. So, um, yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> jerk. All right. So, uh, I haven't played this for a few days, so I might be missing some vital information that would be like, right on the tip of the tongue, you know, if you've been playing constantly. So you're a perv, Merv the perv, so you got arrested. Busted. Yo, yo, yo. I didn't mean to rush, but it's been a while. Did the blackmailing work? Um, hmm. Yeah, somewhat. Maybe don't admit to blackmailing in text. So did it work or didn't? Have you read the past spark messages? Just read all of them and find out who did Anna meet with exactly. Make sure you get all of them. Uh, Anna met with Ulna. I haven't read it yet. Okay. Uh, isn't that what we came for? Make sure you check out all of the past... Ghost lights. Come on. All of the past park spark messages. Especially the other guys. I'll wait till you're done. How kind of you. And offline. Let's go through spark then. James. 166 messages corrupted. Are you Orna? I can't remember what Orna looked like. Wow. That's a lot. Okay. Let me guess. Cat person? <laughs> Too easy. Bet you get that wrong half of the time. Got it right every time so far. <laughs> How many times is that? Once. <laughs> Another spark newbie. Lol. Good thing you showed up. It was starting to get dull. What? Can't find any matches? Mario, this is your first chat on spark. <laughs> I have some, by that, I mean one. <laughs> that can't be true. It is? Cross my heart. What's wrong with her? I'd rather talk about you. <laughs> Sorry, just new to this. Got some really, really strange matches. Oh dear. Hope I'm doing alright so far. I'll take normal over anything at this point. Seriously, some of the messages you were getting, um, hmm. Yeah, no normal over everything is pretty, pretty safe bet. Good morning. What are you doing up so early? Oh, 620? Ugh. Ask you the same thing. Work starts at seven for me. Yikes. Yup. Some more. I'm old. Uh, something my life. I know what FML is, but I don't know some more. What do you do? You'll never guess. What? Surveillance tech. Huh. Funny. You don't seem like the techie. I'm not. How about you? Hmm. And let's fix this message. Making it sound. Better than crappy stuff looks. <laughs> I am a copywriter making crappy stuff sound better than it looks. There we go. That took me a few. <laughs> that took me a couple. Oh, either that was a little bit more complicated, or my brain just didn't want to work. You must be a smooth texter then. Only when, only when it comes to seducing corporate clients. Lol. You saw them? Eh, it didn't work out. So if you ever thought of putting on power suits and writing for big brands? My ideas position at Fresh is still open. Can I... Oh, I can do that. That's much better. Oh, so... Yeah, okay. My position at Fresh ideas are still open. There we go. Oh, I didn't know I could jug the words. I made I think so much easier. Fresh ideas. Your problems are solutions. Uh, I think I'll pass. Why stick around? Where? Your job. You hate it, right? Oh yeah, how'd you know? Uh, just making a guess. You got me. You think I should just quit? Totes. So I'll just walk up to my boss and say, Hey, I don't want money. Okay, thanks, bye. 
I'm not kidding, Anna. If it's not right for you, just walk away. Like you did with your previous guy. Oh my god, how did you know? Hmm. Spark is a rebound city. For most people anyways. I just took a guess. You stalking me? Ah. Uh, you have... My talent of guessing an unnatural backstory. You have my unnatural talent. You have an unnatural talent of guessing my backstory. There we go. Didn't have to, Anna. You're an open book, and so are easy. I just connected the dots. Okay, charming. Okay, smart guy. What else can you read? I think you should just take a break from everything. From the job you hate. From the previous guy, whatever happened, take a vacay and start new. That's so what I need right now, for a guy I barely met. How come you know so much about me? Call it intuition. So, how much of an ass is he? Who, lol? The guy you dumped. You really want to know? Let's trade. Let me... Tell me about the first bark girl. <laughs> you really want to know? You started it. Fair enough. When I first started out... <laughs> And I have a couple of crazy stories from Tinder. I told one before, but I matched with someone on Tinder ages ago who basically catfished me because I was uh, talking to them and their bio was like saying, oh, I'm really into bands and music festivals and stuff. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm really into music. So, you know, let's meet up. And then I met them and they're like, I've never seen a band before. And I was like, oh, like the whole point of like, oh, like hook up. Well, not hookup. Well, our meeting was like, you know, music. And I was like, huh, complete catfish uh, profile. I matched with Cassie, known as I matched with this girl. I matched with this girl, Cassie, known as also known as Keeping Cassie. I matched with this girl named Cassie, also known as Keeping It Cassie. She's cool, but she's like some big social media person or something. I'm not a fan of the attention. No way! She passed a Jabbar, a Jabba celeb. Are you even real? Told you, too much attention. You're weird. Good weird? Yeah, good weird. So, what are your problems? I'll give you one guess what he did. He cheated on you. Yup. Typical. I know, right? Were there any signs? That's a thing. None. Zero. I guess sometimes you can never tell. Or is it just me? Am I blind? Hey, don't say that. Maybe he was good to you. So you saw the good parts of him. Of anybody. And that makes you good. I mean, as much as a fuckboy Greg is, I do think he does like Anna. So, even though the game wants you to hate Greg, he's not a 100% douchebag. He's just a very big douchebag, you know. He's not evil, basically, is what I'm saying. So I do generally think he, like, cares for Anna... Even if he is a is even if he is a dick hole, so you know. Wow, did you just make that up? <laughs> is it working? Hehe. <laughs> You're something else, James. I'll take that as a compliment. Keep that up, and I'll let you see the good parts of me. Lol, you did not. Okay, if we keep talking, I'm gonna get miss work. Speak soon. Smiley face. You should totally record yourself quitting your job. 6 p.m. You don't sleep, do you? <laughs> Chatting with you is more fun. Uh, recording myself quitting isn't though. You'll inspire the generation, Anna. Haha. <laughs> I'm not inspiring anybody, lol. I want to go back to school first. College? Ah, which kind? Vet. Now that sounds more like you. It does, lol. Totally. Which one are you going to? Applied for UC? Don't know what that is. But I got rejected. Bastards. Tell you what. I'll teach you how to apply for colleges like a pro. Isn't it just filling up forms, lol? Hey, I will write you a kick-ass application. Ow. Meet me this weekend and I'll show ya. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Smooth. Blink. Fine, but you better be actually useful, lol. I can think of a few things we can use. Haha, <laughs> like what? Depends on my mood. Fine, I'll fill out my smell myself. Sunday night, 7pm uptown. You're lucky. That's good timing for me. See ya. Sunday night, 7pm. See you soon. Be there in an hour. I'm here, where are you? I see you. Now, I see you. It's one of those uh, lines used in games like, you know, I'll watch over you, which is like, on the surface, is a nice message, until you kind of corrupt it like, I see you. It's like, I see you. 
So 7 p.m. uptown on Saturday. Busted. Are you done yet? Some of these rental apps need some additional manu manual solving. Make sure to restore all of the spark messages. Leave no stone unturned. Anna met with James Orner. James, huh? Sounds pretty normal, actually. I would imagine the culprit to have a scary name. What else you got? He is unnaturally good at guessing Anna's past. He met at Keeping Cassie before Anna. He works at a design firm called Fresh Ideas. Uh, he was very unnaturally good at guessing Anna's past. Sounds like stalker material to me. I wonder if there is a way to confirm this. He met Keeping It Cassie before Anna. No way! What a player. She's like a Jabba celeb. I hope she's alright. She looks active on Jabba. If we can somehow talk to her, maybe she can share what she knows about him. Yeah, saying that though, Anna disappeared and is still active on Jabba, so if something happened to Keeping It Cassie, we don't know. Um, he works at a design firm called Fresh Ideas. That's a pretty cheesy name, <laughs> even for my taste. That's all right. Maybe someone there can tell us what's up with him. Looks like we got enough to start with this James fellow. It's close. I can feel it. Assuming she's still alive. Uh, yeah, me too. Although I'm... The other one's what I'd feel inside. That's what I say outside. That's what I like to hear. You got the most resources to figure out who this James person is. I think you need to track this Cassie person down. And... Call his workplace. Dig a little more about him. I'll track Cassie first. Sure. It was first. That's the only reason. As long as you do both, I'll leave it up to you. In the meantime, I'll give Spark a call. Maybe they have something on this James person. So in the video, uh, James was like, or the message, he was like, it's not me or I'm not me. So I think uh, something has simulacred or like, um, you know, there's like a ghost version of Orna who basically attracted Anna. So Cassie, does Anna follow this Cassie? Ah, here we go. The fan Ask Me Anything will be published in an article. Only the best ones get picked. That's the end of the contest. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do. Why are some of the best English words made up of four letters? Snag. It's a good word. One day I'm going to wear my grandma's sweater. Today is not that day. Okay, Cassie was the girl in the photos. So she follows Cassie. That's how... Okay, so I'm going to guess. Uh, Simulacra James Orner met with Cassie. Then kills them or replaces them. Pretty sure they did that in anime I watched where like uh, there was someone going around killing like famous people and then made their uh, like <laughs> their <laughs> social media is much better. Um, the movie should be three hours long. <laughs> the movie should not be three hours long. My bladder can't handle it. Try watching the extended copy of Lord of the Rings. Two days in a row the barista spilled. My name is Cassie with a K. Oh no. It's nine in the morning. Why am I craving Chinese food? Hmm. Keep an eye on my upcoming posts and find the hidden phone number. If you figure it out, just call me with your AMA. What? A jabba. So, where was I? Keep an eye on my upcoming posts. Find the hidden phone number. If you figure it out, just call me. So, pen and paper time. So, the 9 a.m. thing? Yes. It's 9 in the morning. Why am I ch craving Chinese food? So, 9? Let's scroll up. Two days in a row, the barista spot my name, Cassie. 9 2. A movie should not be three hours long. Nine two three. New got episodes in eight hours. Eight. One day one. I'm gonna wear my grandma's sweater. Today is not that day. What are some of the best four letter words for? Okay. Cassie study gives zero fucks. Zero. Nine two three eight one four. That's the end of the contest. Okay. Alright, let's see if I can call it. Nine two Three, eight, one, four, zero. I just have Cassie's photo. Yeah. Hiya, this is Keepin' It Cassie. Congratulations, yeah. you figured out the secret number. As you know, you get to ask me one question for my upcoming AMA thread. 
so please be patient as I will contact you on my next availability. We'll be texting you soon! Shit, that's cool. I like stuff like this. I have to play a detective game soon. Got your number! It's first come, first serve. Oh, achievement unlocked. Ask her anything. So, let me finish up with the earlier winners. I will get back to you once I'm done. Can't wait. Hey ya! You're up. It's your turn to ask me anything. Remember, you only get one question. I'll keep it to one. Awesome possum. Ask away. Tell me more about James Orner. How well do you know James? Uh, how well do you know James Orner? Uh, say what? Him? That's a very odd question to ask someone. How the hell do you know about him? Uh, you're asking the questions now. I have my reasons. He's a person of interest. You want dirt on him or something? Why go through me? Don't you have normal questions to ask, like... What do I think of climate change? It's bad. Or the state of social media shaping consumerism. You know. Normal questions. The A stands for anything. Ugh, fine. <laughs> if that's what you really want to know, on two, only two conditions. First, tell me why do you need info on him. He's a key witness in a disappearance. It's a matter of life or death. There's a chance he's a criminal. Um, hmm. He's a witness. Yeah, let's go for that one. He's a key witness in a disappearance. Sweet Jeebus. I knew something was up. Ah, way to shoot that in the foot. Oh god, I could have been kidnapped. Oh, lights flickering. Look, I'm not sure what you heard, but this sounds seriously effed up. If it's going to help someone else, I will tell you everything. But this is between us. Sure. My second condition is we keep it between us. Sure. Even if it wasn't, I would still say sure. It's a deal. Okay, let me start from the top. I keep my online persona at Keeping It Cassie and my real life separate. My real name is Cassandra. I mean, it's not that far off Cassie, is it? Uh, Keeping It Cassie has always been single. But I'm not. I had a long time boyfriend, but I was dumped. So I went on Spark and chatted with a few guys to get over it. That's when I met James. And let me guess, James was perfect and knew everything about you beforehand. Anything stands out? Nothing at the beginning, actually. It started off fine. He was a real charmer. Seems to tell me all the right things. After coming off a shitty relationship, I was at a low place. Mm-hmm. He gave me some perspective and plenty of good advice. Then he started to get more things right about me. There we go. Sounds pretty smooth. That's the problem. Except that it's not. He starts to text me exactly when I finish work. Yeah. I don't have a regular schedule. They change every weekdays. Days even. But he somehow managed to text me at exactly the right time. There was a photo shoot that ended at 2am. He texted me the moment the photographer called it a wrap. Does he ever sleep? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's weird. Stalker much? Okay, that is weird. I know, right? Here's the final straw. He knew about the breakup. I worked my ass off to keep my relationship secret for the sake of keeping it Cassie, and somehow James knew. I confronted him and he told me he guessed it. Look. So, did your online persona drive your boyfriend away? How the hell do you know about this? I just took a guess. Guessing exactly when I wake up and when I finish work, that is just plain creepy. Finding out about my jabber and my boyfriend, that's pure sorcery. No one else knows about this. Who the hell are you? Are my methods too uncomfortable? We are done. Right. That's the last time I heard from him. Maybe your boyfriend spilled the beans? Possible, but I doubt it. He loved me and he respected my work. My separate lives can be quite a strain. Yeah, I'd get that. But he would never do something like that to me. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Just thinking about him makes my hair stand. Your story is going to save lives. This is very helpful. Can't guarantee the saving lives part. 
You know, I read somewhere that psychopaths try their best to fit in. I feel James is kind of like that. Hope you got what you need. There's something off about him. Offline. Um, yeah, and if we go back to Spark, for example. Like, texting at the exact time you finish, you know. 6am, 6pm. Do you ever sleep? No, because you're a computer ghost. I think that if the game hadn't shown, like, all the creepy at the beginning stuff, I would have just assumed that she'd been murdered and this is just a normal, like, investigation. And then I'd... And then if they did a twist at the end, I'd been like, whoa. But the game's kind of hinted too much uh, that there's going to be something supernatural. So, you know. Can we talk and busted? Let's go to the busted. I tracked down Cassie. That Jabba hottie? Did she kiss and tell? Yeah. He can predict her every move. I'm not going to tell your name to um, Taylor. So he's either some next level stalker or there's something to him that we don't really know. Never mind. We now know James's maximum creep material. Creepy enough to kidnap Anna, perhaps? Have he called his workplace yet? A second opinion from a professional would be great. And offline. Come on. Actually, can we talk? Uh, I don't want to talk to you, Ashley. It's nothing personal, but I just don't want to, like, reveal that I'm not your friend. Uh, a little busy, actually, or of course. I really don't want to, um, of course. You remember when I told you to make a Spark profile? Yeah, you made one for me? Uh, I know you said you were going to make one. It made me realize something. It was a defense mechanism for something. Something that I can't hide anymore. Ever feel like you could lie to yourself so much you end up lying to others? You're not allowed to feel that way. Might be different in my case though. Here's the thing. Anna, you're the only bestie I've ever had. I feel like I could tell you anything. Trust you with anything. Hmm. Oh, Ashley. Hmm. <laughs> See, I thought having BFF supposed to feel like this. But I think I'm confusing it with something else. You're in love with Ashley? Oh. I think. You're not my friend, Ashley. Call the police. Um, I think there's a reason why I could never get along with guys. Tell me, I won't judge. And it's the same reason why I hated seeing you go out with Greg or anyone else. I'm just going to cut to the chase, okay? I have feelings for you. Hello, is it me you're looking for? There, I said it. Nice. You don't have to respond. You can ignore this if you want and pretend it never happened. It's the fourth glass talking, so don't listen to it. Ah, uh, I can't keep this up. That, that. We're just gonna... There's nothing else to do? Can I not talk to Taylor? Pending. Find Anna. Make sure... Pending. Make sure Ashley never finds out about Anna's disappearance. I feel the same about you, Ash. Oh, Ash, you're just being silly. Sorry, can't keep this up anymore. Uh, that's not me. So I feel that's really, really rude to say that to someone else. You're messing with their feelings. Poor Ashley. And also not cool to Anna. Oh, Ash, you're just being silly. That's... Uh, I can't keep this up anymore. If we get a game over run, then we get a game over run. Huh? What's wrong? I'm not Anna. What's up with you? You know I've been acting real weird recently. Hello? I know you're there. Why aren't you speaking? If anything happens to her, it's on you. Explain. Shit, why aren't you talking? I can barely hear you. Where the hell is Anna? She's missing. Since when? Fuck! It's right after I told you about Yolanda, isn't it? I knew something was wrong. Is Greg involved? You lied to me! Ah, uh, I couldn't do it anymore. Greg? No! No, they are done. Is he involved? No! We're done talking. I'm calling the cops. It's even unlocked. She needs to know. Shit. <laughs> A new vlogger. So, I'm gonna download Spark. You can download Spark. Yes, online dating is happening. Hey. 
But I figure I deserve to be happy and forget about everything else. And there's no point wasting time. So here I go. Hmm? What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst okay. that could happen? Ah. Oh. Um. Ashley. Yeah. Let's call the police. Hello. This is an automated police emergency response. Your call is important to us. Sorry, all of our operators are currently busy. What? If there is an immediate danger, please press 1. If you wish to report a non-immediate crime, please press 2. For other emergency services, please press 3. If you wish... <laughs> Let's try and call Detective Murillo. I mean, if I just didn't call the police, let's get in there first. Huh. Right, then, um... Oh. Hey. Hello? This is Detective Marillo from the police department. We have strong evidence to suggest that you are holding on to a missing person's phone. We also have reason to believe that you are working with an accomplice named Greg Summers, conspiring to keep Anna's disappearance a secret. This is an obstruction of justice, and I am afraid I will have to bring you and Greg in for questioning. Please, a woman's life is at stake here. We are reasonable. If you can assist us with the investigation, there will be no charges. Call me back if you change your mind. Shit. <laughs> My crimes are coming back to bite me in the ass. Um, huh, I don't know what to do now. Um, so we need to go to um, fresh ideas. Um, how do I find your job? Oh, he actually linked it. Your problems. Our solutions, web design. Impressive websites and apps are derived from elegant designs that embodies a clear vision. Clear. <laughs> clear vision. Backed up by the latest technologies. Um, join us. Ah, we're constantly looking for talented individuals who want to join our ever-growing organization. Ah, uh, what's my email? At Anna... Anna at cmail.web. Anna. It's annoying. I have to change my keyboard. <laughs> my keyboard flickers between there we, uh, two different languages and the buttons are not in the same place. Uh, dot web, was it? Anna. Um, copywriter. There we go. Read job applications. No way is a job application like that, for real. Job applications are like the most annoying pain in the shit ever. Like, hey, please like write a cv and you're like all right so you write your cv out and then they ask you to go to the website and fill out all the information that you've got in your cv into an annoying pain in the ass website um from hr at fresh ideas dear anna thanks for your interest in joining our ever-growing family before we commence the interview it is our policy to engage a preliminary chat with all our applications beforehand no it's not <laughs> when you are ready please contact our hr representative phil he will guide you through the entire process. Thank you and good luck. <laughs> no, no fucking way is this shit real. Nice bow tie, Phil. Okay, Phil is online. Howdy there. Is this Anna? Uh, yes, this is me. Nito. I'm Phil. From Fresh Ideas. Or feel fresh, as some of my buds call me. Get it? Feel fresh. Hmm. 
This is just an informal chat, so just loosen up and save it for the big interview later, eh? So, you ready? Can I ask the questions instead? Yep, ask away, I'm not here for an interview. Uh, can I ask the questions? Yeah. Yeah, ask away. I feel like the other way, if I ask the questions, is built too, um, forward. Let's start. Five years from now, what do you see yourself doing, eh? Made an impact on your company's bottom line, develop the skills to manage other people, get to the point where I can tell people to, uh, bottom line. Nifty. We're always excited what fresh faces can bring in. Ugh, get it? You spell fresh with a PH. If that's... It's what we call our new recruits. I came up with it. Neat, huh? Um... It's something. <laughs> Why should I hire you? I've learned stuff which might bring unique value, meh. Because I want to be the very best, meh. Yeah. Okay, let's go this, this is mid. I got other talents besides writing. People with multiple talents are always welcome here. We'd like to hear more if you get shortlisted. Last question. Okay. Why do you want to work here? Because I need money, Phil, and you need someone to work for you. It Literally, that's, that's it. <laughs> I think we share the same principles in culture. You guys are the pinnacle of your industry. James Orner spoke highly of you guys. Do you know him? Uh, I'm really tempted to bring that up. Um, let's go mid again. <laughs> I'm really worried about bringing it up in advance. Oh, you're not the pinnacle? Whoops. Sorry, microphone. Well, we are far from the top, but we try. And we are done. Easy peasy. We'll call you back for a second interview if you're shortlisted. Do you have any questions for me? Yes. I thought I'd messed up by not mentioning Orna there. Am I the only applicant? How was your previous copywriter? I want to ask you about James. Too direct. Let's go previous. He is missing. How do I put this? We had to let him go. Oh, sorry, bud. Why are you asking this? So I won't repeat his mistakes. Want to know what working for you is like. He said you guys fired him unfairly. I won't repeat his mistakes. That's the kind of forward thinking we are looking for. It's a shame, really. We had to let him go because of his unprofessional behavior. Did he screw up? Is he a criminal? Did he screw up? Yeah. No, well, I'm not a first. To be frank, I'm not in the liberty to discuss any personal matters. All I can say socially, he was one of our best. He gets along with people well and genuinely likable. But that kind of changed. What do you mean? He broke off with his girlfriend and of course he was upset. But he has stood himself until he got spark. Since then, he's been showing up late. He grew distant, and then one day, just vanished. Shit! So Spark, something in Spark is like, killing people. He didn't show up for work? My eyes might be deceiving me, but I was so sure of what I saw. He went into the bathroom some, for quite some time, and I heard a strange noise coming from it. I even recorded it. Listen! I went in I went in and check. No one was there. That was the last time anyone saw him in person. Shit. Did you contact him since? We tried. Since then he never showed up for work. No phone calls, no emails, nothing. That's the same noise that we heard at Anna's. So we terminated him. Plus our big project come here. We don't really need it right now. I understand. That is weird. I understand. What is weirder is that after his disappearance, we found his phone on his desk. We tried checking it, but I think it was broken because it kept glitching out. 
Some say they still see him on Jabba. Some female friends even saw him on Spark. Whatever happened to that kid? I think he needs help. Professional help. That's all I need. No other questions. Whoa, sorry, went off on a tangent there. I like your energy, kid. I look forward to your callback. Achievement unlocked. You're hired! <laughs> if only life was like this. Um... Oh, I need the microphone as well. That helps. <laughs> I was there just like, something's not right. Microphone start here. I forgot the microphone. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, Simulacra. As you can see, I've uh, completed the game. <laughs> but I forgot to record an outro for part five so um here we are so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this part it is the penultimate part and uh yeah on friday will be the finale so um i hope you've been enjoying it it's good good conclusion good stuff all around so yeah all right with that hope you enjoyed everything and i hope to see you again sometime soon take care